Okay, chapter two, one point two. Task analysis as part of user centered design. Well, you find out that there are in fact many approaches on task analysis. There's a lot of literature on task analysis, and 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 you will find out that that uh, they might differ, but interestingly, they all are about knowledge. Task analysis is analyzing knowledge, analyzing knowledge of the people who perform a task, finding out whether the knowledge is adequate or not, and maybe in future improving the situation so that the knowledge is better, so that people can better understand. So task analysis, whatever book, whatever paper, whatever literature you find, it's always about knowledge. Um, and, and, and this knowledge we will relate to a design process. If we find out that in the task knowledge there are issues, there are problems, this might be a good reason to improve the design. Now if you look at these approaches you will find in fact three different, let me say, steps. Sometimes Task analysis is about collecting and describing knowledge about an existing task domain. So tonight or tomorrow morning we can go to the coffee shop and describe how people in the coffee shop manage their business. This is an existing situation. So task model one is a model of something that's now there. Sometimes people consider task analysis as envisioning and specifying a new situation. I'm going to redesign something. I'm going to redesign the complete bus ticket system in Italy, in Algero. So I forget about how it's now, forget about the stupid flower shop and the funny box at the airport. We are going to make a much better design. We are redesigning. So we are actually envisioning, and my students in Italy did it, envisioning that on each bus stop there will be a machine that sells tickets and that provides information where you can tell the machine, I want to go there, and the machine tells you this is the ticket you should buy and this is the money you should get. So, so I'm envisioning a new situation. And we call this task model 2. Task model 2 is my dream of the future. Right? And my dream of the future is the basis of the next step, specifying the details. So I could now start specifying the details of the new system. So the hardware and the software. Right? So you could see task analysis could be about a current situation, could be about a dream of the future, and could be about the details of the specifications of the future. And you will find out that many different approaches um, combine them. Um, so the, they, they are all about knowledge, but, but they often combine task model one, the existing situation, and task model two, the future dream, and, 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 and sometimes they mix up. So sometimes task analysis doesn't tell me whether it's about an existing situation or a new situation. And I would like to be specific and precise. So all this literature is okay, but sometimes you have to be careful to read. Are they describing an existing situation? Or are they describing a goal, an envisioned new situation, right? And you learn already that in my approach we should do both. We start by describing an existing situation, analyzing, modeling, and then dreaming of the future. Okay? <coughs> um, so, there are many approaches, I told you, and some approaches are complete, um, uh, complete meaning that they describe both the existing situation and the new situation and the details of technology, uh, and, and, and in that respect they are more or less all the same. So we have James Landay as example, we have Fabio, Fabio Paterno, concurrent, uh, uh, they, um, Concurrent task tree should be CTT, right? and, and we have a, a, well a system that we developed in the Netherlands, which we label Dutch, uh, but, but they are all equivalent. So the factual tools I show you are just an example, and you would use tools of the others. I, I mean, this type of people and, and more. I, I could list ten here, but they all have an approach that's equivalent, right? We, we start mm -hmm. with considering an existing situation, then we dream of an improved world. 
and then we specify the details of the new technology. It's all the same story. Um, now, our thing is labeled Dutch, whatever, but, but there's three types of design activity. That's important. The first one is analysis. We analyze task knowledge. The second one is specification. We specify a new world, and later on we might specify the details. And all the time we should do some evaluation, find out whether we are improving, whether this really helps the people involved, the users, right? And, and this means that we have to change and to iterate. So we, we analyze, we specify, we evaluate, then we go back. So we would iterate and all these approaches are human-centered. We focus on the human people, on the knowledge of the humans, uh, and, and they are all looking at the context, at the situation. Because selling a bus ticket in Italy could be completely different from selling a bus ticket in Dalian, right? Because the situation is different, the bus system might be different. Uh, there are even towns, I'm not sure here, but there are towns where buses are free, well, then there's no bus ticket issue at all, right? So it really depends on the context. So this is a picture of the different task analysis activities. So you could say we start with a model of the current situation, and this is what we will do. And based on that model, we will find problems, and we will analyze the problems, and we will specify a new situation, how we could change. And based on that, we could even go further and specify what we call here the user's virtual machine. This is specifying the machine, the technology. We will not do this today. But it's interesting to see that already here we can evaluate. Especially if we have a vision of a new task situation, we could design a scenario. But if we would design a prototype, we should know much more about the technology. So evaluation could go from very vague and global, more like storytelling, to very precise, like having a prototype. Yeah? Okay. Uh, and obviously, if we have this one, so if we have specified the technology and we have evaluated, then finally we could implement it, build it, and then we might start again. Because now we have a system in place, we could reconsider task model number zero. Okay? And, and here the, the thing is getting more complicated because now we show that in order to make task model one, we need to find out about practice, the work. We need to find out about the knowledge of the people and we need to find out about documents and artifacts. It's a lot, forget about it. And for task model two, we might need to talk to negotiate in fact with the client and we might need to understand what technology is available to improve, right? Okay, so this is too complicated maybe, so let's make it more simple um, and, and maybe even more si less simple, let me say, we, we, we consider current task model, we consider the future task model and we will evaluate by using a scenario. Now, in that respect, we still need the help of, we need to go to the practice, meaning in your case, you need to go to the coffee shop, because this is where it happens. You need to understand the knowledge, so you need to talk to the people in the coffee shop, both the people who are handling the nice machine and, and taking the money, and the, the person who is making the coffee in the machines, and the lady who is the boss and who is doing something, things with the laptop that I don't understand, and the people who go there and buy coffee. And sometimes they buy coffee and they have a special card and they get a stamp. Right? So, these are all people that you have to talk to. And you have to look at documents and artifacts. There are lots of documents in the coffee shop. There's a document on the counter. When I go there and I ask for a coffee, I point to espresso and I say, this is the one I want. And then the guy with the mice machine has a document below the machine I found out. And then, and, and he looks at the document below the machine before he hits the buttons. And then when he hits the buttons, there's another sheet of paper that comes from the machine and he put it in a clip. And he says something to the guy behind him. And the guy behind him is going to work with coffee beans and glasses and, and so on, right? And the lady is doing things that, well, she's the boss for some reason. I'm not sure what she's doing. I didn't do the task analysis myself. But, but you have to find out all these documents. They are very important, right? And then 
like on, on Friday when we have, the, we should go back to the client and say, we propose that maybe in your shop you should have another thing or you should use it differently or you should have another ticket for the client and so on. And you have to consider whether it's, uh, the technology is available and affordable, right? Okay, so 